In this video, I want to show you how to connect and use CARSIM with ECU test. First, I need to create a test bench configuration to tell ECU test which tool I would like to use. I click on New Test Bench Configuration, then click on New Tool Host and choose something from the list of tools I would like to use. In this example, CARSIM. In the case of CARSIM, there are no other properties to be configured. I save the configuration and select it. Next, I have to create a test configuration to link CARSIM to an internal model name. On the Platform tab, I choose a name and select the newly created port from the test bench configuration. In the case of CARSIM, no model is chosen. After I saved and select the test configuration, I can load the selected configurations. ECU test starts and connects CARSIM and receives the available datasets from CARSIM. To create a test case using one of the datasets, I simply drag and drop the dataset into a new package. Now I can add parameters and define values. This provides the possibility to automatically execute the same dataset with many different parameter values. In addition, I can choose which signals I like to record, while the dataset is executed to evaluate them with the help of the trace analysis. In the trace analysis, I can check, for example, that the threshold is never exceeded, or simply plot the signals. Of course, I can access other tools too, like MATLAB Simulink or the connected real-time model to evaluate other data as well. When I execute the created test case, ECU test runs CARSIM in the configured way and collects the recorded data. At the end, I automatically get a generated test report, which shows me whether my expectations are fulfilled. To execute the same test case with different parameter values, I create a project, add the newly created package, and add a parameter generator. I specify the value range of the parameters for the project and execute the project. Now ECU test runs the same datasets with all configured values and displays the execution summary at the end.
With the help of our tool test guide, I can get an overview of all executions. I could compare certain runs, or I could create a heat map to see which parameter combinations are most likely to fail. 